Hi, I'm Mohit Nakra and this is my tutorial for basic skirt. You need to follow this diagram to do for the block pattern. So as and then per the given diagram, you need to drop down the waist 2 inches and then 7 inches for the hip level. Okay, and then make a perpendicular line, continuation with front and back and label them as per the diagram. Okay, and then divide the fabric into two parts by marking the seam allowances of the side seam on the lower half of the garment. Give it a notch marks on the hip level and you have to pin this temporarily over back over front uh, of the side seam like the way I'm doing and also remember before you pin it your hem should be completely folded and pin the side seams Then we take this on the dress form and we will put it parallelly to the hip level. The hip line and the hip line on the dress form should align well. Okay, so, so the first pin we are going to take is uh, for the hip level. And then we will align the hip level from the back. We need to also see that the side seam and the other points are going to fall on the dress form where it's supposed to be, okay? And then we will start draping the waist. You will smoothen out on the side seam and pin it on the waist where it is falling naturally. And then you will get a dart excess. You can also make a single dart and the basic skirt generally have double darts okay the one which falls on the princess and the other one falls between the princess and side seam so you need to clip and divide the darts into two parts and i'm showing it to you roughly but your first dart should fall on princess line and the second dart in between the side seam and princess line. After clipping, just take the vanishing points. Make sure the vanishing points are above the hip level line. It should not go below the hip level line. If it is going, that means there is something wrong in taking the excess. Start taking the cross marks like we do it in the bodice. The same we will do it at the back as well and uh, we will again uh, soften the side seam on the waist wherever it falls naturally the grain line and you will find excess in between um, the dart excess which you are going to divide equally like the way you did in the front in the first dart should fall on the princess line and the second dart again in between the princess and the side seam the back dart intake will be much more deeper because uh, because of the hip curve you will get a little heavier dart comparatively to the front but make sure your dart is uh, falling perpendicular to the waistline uh, like the way in the front okay it should not go diagonal or a hay via or curvy in any way it should fall perpendicular to the waist and then take the cross marks like the way we did it in the front take your dotted marks for the side seam hip curve 
and then you remove it from the dress form to start drawing the darts and converting them into a final test fit. Now the chewing part I am going to take it super fast because um, uh, you guys know already how we chew the darts the same way we are going to chew the darts and then we are going to go slightly in half an inch in an inch from the hem uh, because we are making a pencil skirt so we are going to taper it little in rather keeping it straight then cut over the seam allowances please take seam allowances I'm not showing it in this video because I'm assuming that by far you know that what are the seam allowances and how you going to take it start pinning the back over front start closing the darts and your test fit is ready for the basic skirt After pinning the darts, you will go and check the hang of the test fit on the dress form. And this is how your basic skirt is made. It's very simple and very easy to make a basic pencil skirt. Okay, if you want a straight skirt, you can let your um, um, side seam be normal i have taken in half an inch because i wanted to give it a little more tapered look at the hem and slightly in shape thank you i hope you will make this test fit and you guys will try more around it thank you